Hey everybody, it's Redneck Matt here, guys. Um, I've been working on something, uh, working on some stuff lately, and I've not been making videos, but uh, hope you guys enjoy those that romp video and that hydrostatic gas pedal thing. What it was is I just put the gas pedal off here, run it like a normal gas pedal, just in case you guys are wondering, just normal stuff, but it's a throttle, it's on the left side, so throttle, hydro. But I did some stuff while you guys were gone, lired up the lights with my switch, they work, they work really good, took off the stickers, but I got the switch wired, I have the gas pedal adjusted out now, because one of my buddies told me to help me how to adjust these bike brake, so I got it adjusted out and the throttle's amazing. I have a steering lock now. It goes right down, right down in here, and it just uh, drop a little bolt down there. Stops the steering from back and forth. I gotta fix this bolt because it's crap and it doesn't work. So I gotta fix that, and also have to. Uh, so I got that bolt stopper in case. It dies. I was having carb trouble. I cleaned the carb. Took it off clean it. So it's great now. It's fine. It runs amazing. No problems with it. Still got a ton of gas in here. Uh, not much updates. I had this switch here, which should work. These blue lights under here, which I don't think you guys can see them, but they're zip tied on the foot pads. They're long bulbs that should go blue. I haven't figured out why. They come from a, uh, a, uh, their car lights. They have like a little car thing. You stick it inside your outlet. You push it and they light up. But I, I wired them over here, run them over, run them together, and I can't really show you, but there's a there's one of these in there. Those right there, this little red thing, and all four of the wires run together in this one to clamp down, and then they run to the switch wire, and they don't work. So if any of you guys know how to do that, just tell me. post the comments below or send me a message and tell me how to get it working. But today's project is this right here. It's going to be my new project, my racing mower engine right here. It's a five horsepower tiller motor. Uh, it would come on that rotor tiller I got. I don't know if I got to show you that. But it's, yeah, I got it to run, guys. So I'm going to try to see if I can get it to run again. So uh, got to balance the old phone. Oh, come on now. Hold on. Let me just, yeah, here we go. Old battery from Jacob John's mower. Going to use it as a phone mount. I don't know if you guys can see the. No, you can't. I'm just getting forward some. You see the motor now? Here we go. Try to get her going. That's it guys, little five horsepower tiller motor. It's been sitting outside forever. It doesn't have a throttle, that's why I had to reach around over there and do it instead of doing it here, keeping her steady idle. But yeah, it uh, it runs boys, even though, even though this cord right here is complete crap. I uh, cleaned off the spark plug and that's what it was, I believe, it wasn't letting it run. Took the spark plug out, cleaned it on the bench grinder, cleaned this tip, run that down on there. She runs amazing. Side shaft, obviously. Uh, so this is gonna be my little racing mower. Uh, oh, freaking bug was crawling in the back of my neck. I don't know where it went. Ooh, that was creepy. But side shaft, obviously. Ah, my finger keeps getting stuck. Side shaft. So racing mower project, guys. That's what's gonna be coming from this. It's got great compression. No trouble there. Air filter, any replacement air filter, any air replacement throttle, obviously. And uh, yeah, she's good to go. I'll bolt her down, have all the bolts inside here. They're over here and here. Right there they are, all the bolts. Clean them up on the old bench grinder. And uh, once I do that, uh, I'll take them and figure out what I'm gonna use for a body frame for my racing mower. But uh, if you guys like this little 5 horsepower tether motor, like seeing her run, good old cold start. I don't do many cold starts, but yeah, that was her second run since I got it off. Uh, probably going to drain the oil uh, and then buy some oil 
whenever I can, probably Sunday when I go out with my parents to go to my mamas and buy some oil for it and uh, look for, uh, try to figure out a way to do my throttle. I have some some bike cable left over, so I might try to wire up a little hand throttle uh, or something. Or just like a throttle I can pull on the wires. I don't have to reach my hand up under there. I don't like being having to reach my hand in there. But it runs, so uh, hopefully I'll be working on my racing mower sometime whenever I get this thing done, get those blue lights going, and get new back tires. And then paint it black with blue rims. So uh, hopefully I can get that worked out and get all that done. But I hope you guys enjoyed this small update. It's uh, I haven't been doing them, I know. I've been busy, a lot of romping stuff, hanging out with my buddies, and uh, stuff like that. But uh, And I've uh, been talking to a girl. She's awesome, but I'm not going to get into that. It's lawnmower talk. It's manly talk. And uh, so, yeah, I just splashed a little gas in there. It's uh, from Dad's riding mower gas. We're here at Copacabana Day Gas, but I just splashed it in there. Just and figured he wouldn't get too mad. The gas I poured out of it was brown. I didn't want, want to run that in that motor. But uh, she runs, guys. The tiller motor runs, so... Day one of uh, racing mower build, I guess is what you could say. Or day one of racing mower engine starter. I don't know, whatever you want to call this video. But, uh, yeah, I got that done, guys. Oh, I got these. Uh, picked up a pair of uh, trailer tires now. I'm going to take these things and uh, get them uh, put on the old trailer frame down there. And then bolt down some, well, probably just screw it down, drill the hole small and screw it down. Screw down the uh, some plywood on it and have a little trailer to haul stuff with. But uh, they're good tires. They're 12 bucks at Tractor Supply for one of them. So I'm going to have got two. I had put them on this mower because they gave an inch bigger tire and a two inch bigger end. So it was a three inch lift in the front. But I didn't like how these looked with how skinny they were on the front end of her. They looked real funny. So I'm going to put them on the trailer. Here's the uh, original tires that are on here, guys. These tires are crap. Legit crap. Like I can't do nothing with them. I even bought new stems, pulled new stems through. And I can't even use these tires. These tires are just so dry rotted. Uh, I took the deck off, deck switch off, but uh, I left on the little side thing here. Uh, not as like a foot guard or anything, but I guess you could say it's a foot guard. It's going to guard my foot and stuff slinging up there. But I put this uh, bolt on there, shoved it through there, so this is not fall. But this big bar down here, I realize this big bar down here will protect against stuff slamming up here and hitting against the spring and the belt and stuff. So I don't have, I moved the belt retainers in on the pulley swap. So, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. This quick video to get stuff up and running. Fix the electricals, push button works, everything. I'll show you the push button working. Um, what it was was the uh, ground for the battery wasn't good. This ground wasn't good. And there's the terminal wire I got off the other Murray that... My buddy brought over parts mowers. I'll maybe do a video on that tomorrow, the parts mowers. But, uh... Yep. So that's that, guys. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think. If you guys know how that wiring problem was not working right, it's got two wires, they cut, there's two wires coming out of the bulbs, and I just I clink, cramped, crimped all four of them down on the little connector and then connected it to the regular copper wire and run it to the switch. So if you guys have an idea why it's not working, uh, tell me. And uh, yeah, so this is Redneck Matt, guys, signing out.